Hello everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading. It will be for all signs. As always, it won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome everyone. This is Andrea from Truth Well Told Tarot. I hope you're all well. Let's see what we have as a daily reading for the day. What do we have for the day? Th oh, lovely. We have the star. It's a card of hope and having faith, the star. So let's see what we have. Ten of Wands. Five of Swords. The Empress. Seven of Swords. <laughs> nice. We have the Nine of Cups. Four of Wands. And Justice. So, you have reasons to hope. The star is a card of hope. Sometimes we have to just have faith. But when the star comes out in a reading, it is telling you that there are blessings coming your way and divine wish fulfillment. We've also got the other wish fulfillment card with the nine of cups in this reading. So this is really a sign that you're going to get your wish. You know, it might well be that you have to have faith for a little bit longer here, but there's a strong spiritual energy here as well of, of renewal and new hope, optimism, uh, but absolutely feels like you're on track, that you're going to get your wish. This just lovely, it's just lovely energy. The Seven of Swords can be a card of deception. Um, now, the Seven of Swords represents it represents um, Sometimes somebody, or it could be a situation where there is deception going on, uh, concealment, lies, not revealing everything, not being above board. This is that kind of energy here. That's what you're being told. Now, this Ten of Wands is telling you here that you have an opportunity to release from that because it looks like a journey is completing. The Ten of Wands represents a weight being lifted, a burden being lifted. It's a burden that's built up over a, bit, a, a long time and it feels like it's been arduous. But this is the energy here of, you might have been dealing with some kind of deception of some kind here. Uh, somebody not being above board, uh, lies, stealing. I mean, you know, the, the the more kind of like deeper meanings of the Seven of Swords, it can be about stealing, it can be about, you know, uh, an example can be about someone, you know, uh, not being above board in terms of how they conduct themselves. If you've given money, you know, in faith to somebody and they weren't above board and they were they had their own agenda, you know, this can be the energy of, of being scammed or conned as well, you know, so... There's levels to these kind of cards. It's not just about money, um, but it's deception. It's about whatever this deception is, lies, deceit, somebody not being above board. Um, it feels like there is an opportunity to release from whatever this burden is, whatever this process has been for you. And that's what I'm getting here. <laughs> I just love these cards. I mean, clearly, I mean, the, the tower comes before the star in the major arcana, which represents endings, um, change, truth, revelation, an event that happens, someone's actions that causes a tower, that causes a change, that causes the tearing down of the old. Um, but this is definitely the energy here. If there is, you're going to be victorious. The five of swords and the nine of cups is a hard one. Victory, you're getting what you wished for. You know, what you set out to achieve, you're getting you're getting to that point here where the weight is lifted. You can let go of the weight because it feels like there is a completion here and it, it feels like it completes with a victory. 
the Nine of Cups, you're getting what you wished for. You're getting what you want. And this can be quite a celebratory energy, as can the Four of Wands. So the Empress represents, and she can be very, the Empress represents new abundance. The Empress is very good in terms of money areas, but also an opportunity to um, be content with an outcome here, being very satisfied, being very content with an outcome. Uh, there's a sense of deservingness with the Empress. The Empress doesn't really settle for less than she deserves. It can link in with a mother. It can link in with an energy of self-love, self-care, um, appreciation for self and not settling for anything less than that, not accepting lack, you know. So very abundant energy, very bountiful energy with the Empress energy. But it feels like, again, the Four of Wands can be celebration in the home, the family, the relationship. It can be to do with property as well, the Four of Wands, if it was a landlord issue or to do with property. Um, but it's not limited to that. Um, it feels like the Four of Wands is, is, it can be very celebratory. Uh, there's a reason to celebrate. Two cards of celebration side by side as well. Now, justice is what's fair, what's right, what's true, what's honourable. Uh, it can represent legal processes, government institutions. It's not limited to that. Uh, arbitration. But it can be very positive in terms of a ruling. Uh, so some kind of getting justice. getting It's a hard won victory, whereas there's a decision coming in where it looks in the scenario that justice is being served. Now, it can also be someone deciding to do the right thing and be above board and giving abundance where they haven't wanted to, you know? So again, that can be if there's been discussions, conversations, negotiations going on. It's not limited to a legal process. It's about someone doing the right thing and giving somebody what they deserve. And there's that sense of a hard-won victory, you know. So that's the energy that I'm getting. But you're being told, have faith that this is going to work out for you. Uh, justice is all about bringing that sense of balance, what's fair, what's right, what's true, the right thing being done, actions have consequences, and truth will out. This is the energy. So that's what I'm seeing here. The star is there to tell you, have faith. I feel this situation is likely playing out at the moment, but this is leading to the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment with a victory. You're getting what you want. You know, it's just a lovely, lovely energy. And again, whatever this experience has been, whatever this process has been, this is the energy of justice is being served karmically through this situation. Someone might be doing the right thing or being made to do the right thing officially, however that manifests for you. Uh, so this can even be sorting it out between family or relationships yourself. Or again, sorting it out with other entities. Could be a work situation, could be a contractual situation. Um, you know, sometimes this can be inheritance thing with legalities. Uh, however this manifests for you, it's about the right thing being done that brings balance. The truth will out. The right thing will be done. You know, and that's the energy here. It will be sorted out in justice. We have Dolphin, Atlantis, healing wisdom is surfacing, stop and listen. Dolphin energy also um, signifies to me that there are people around you who are supportive. Uh, you know, because this, al this always indicates to me that you're being given the support that you need. That even people are coming into your life for a specific reason to help you get this outcome that you want. That will be the energy here as well. Or someone saying we're in this together, you know. 
Leave Kata Ant, oh my, as, as I said that, <laughs> Leave Kata Ant, Army of Life, ask for help, seek support, you are not alone, yeah. One more card, we have Elephant Grounding. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth, stay grounded. Yeah, I feel that this is, there is a, there is a, a very positive, it's, it's the right decision coming in. That brings a positive outcome. That's to be celebrated. That's the energy here. You're getting your wish. I mean, beautiful. I feel that this is playing out. Again, the star is there to say have hope. But it ultimately manifests as you're getting what you want out of this. You're getting your wish, you know. It's a hard won victory here. That's that's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.